In this video, I'm going to show you that how we can actually integrate AdMob with our Android application and how we can earn money with that AdMob advertisement from within our application. So let's get started. As if you would be already familiar that the legacy AdMob has been shutting down by the Google and now the new AdMob has been integrated in the Google world. So in order to integrate the new AdMob, you need to install the Google Play services in your Android SDK. As Google Play services also contain the AdMob as the part of the new AdMob legacy. So I'm just going to open my SDK manager and then at the bottom under the extras folder, Remember to check on the Google Play Services checkbox and make sure that it is installed. If it is not installed, then click on the Install Packages button and it will begin to install. After installation of the Google Play Services, get into the ADT bundle where you have extracted. I have extracted inside the program files and then go to SDK folder, go to Extras folder, go to Google's folder, go to Google Play Services, Lib Project and remember the path of this Google Play Services Live folder. Then open your Eclipse editor and then click on the file option and click on the import section. After that click on the Android existing Android code into workspace and click on the browse section. Then navigate to the C drive where you have placed your ADT bundle pack I'm just going to navigate in here and then inside the SDK folder under extras folder as we have already marked the area inside the lib project I'm just going to select the lib project and click on OK and it will give me this option but I cannot check it because I have already imported the Google Play Services lib folder in my workspace so I really don't need to import it again so after importing it you will actually be now having the Google Play Services lib. Now, if now if you want to actually integrate the Google AdMob advertisement with your application, then you have to actually import this Google Play Services lib in your folder. I'm just going to remove this one. Okay, now there is a game named as Advanced Brick Tumblr. This is my game I have created. I want to integrate AdMob with this game. So how we can integrate the AdMob with this game? So now I'm just going to right click on this game Brick Tumblr and then go to property section and select the Android section. And as you can see that the Android 4.4 latest version has been selected. Now this would be actually your Google Play Services lib. So click on apply and click on OK after selecting it. But if it is not appearing under the reference area, you can just click on the aid section and then you can select it from here. But I have already selected it and imported it in this area. So this is not available in this section. So I'm just going to click on OK. And after integrating it, you need to actually add some changes or provide some changes inside your game or inside your application. This is a game, so I'm just going to integrate the AdMob. So inside your activity, whatever activity you are using, you have to actually place these three uh, where, uh, things. That is the add view variable, the string variable that will be actually your un unit ID. And you have to place your unit ID inside this quotation mark. Now you will be confused what is unit ID. Well, you will get unit ID when you actually sign up for AdMob account. And if you just get into it in this section, I have already signed up for AdMob account. And after signing up to AdMob account, you will get this section. So I'm just going to click on the new add unit. And then I will be confronted with this section. I can actually select the game from here as I have already selected from the Google Play Store. You can select the game if or you can just integrate AdMob if you have installed your game or uploaded your game to Google Play Store. So I have already actually uploaded my game to Google Play Store and I have selected that from Google Play Store. You can select the banner from this section 
by clicking on this and then select the text in the image section and then provide an aid unit name whatever you want to give it something or some want you want and just click on the save button after that you will actually give this section you will be actually confronted with this section and as well as this aid unit ID just copy this aid unit ID and paste it inside this section so now we have two variables that is aid view and the aid unit ID remember this one this is very important after that you need to get into your uh, uh, application main area that is on create method inside on create method you have to just actually declare the linear layout I'm just gonna get into the layout section and will tell you that I've used the linear layout and then you have to use the following code by aid view you have to instantiate the aid view which we have created in here and then you have to add the unit ID and as well as the size that will be a smart banner and you have to set the layout to the aid view section and after that you have to integrate this piece of code so in short you have to integrate this piece of code inside your uh, on create method after that you're gonna have to get into the layout section this is actually the brick tumblr view xml section I have so after opening your brick tumblr view dot xml or any of the xml you are using in your application just paste this piece of code in your application that is a linear layout that we have actually declared inside this section so inside linear layout its orientation must be vertical or horizontal depending upon your condition it must uh, fill the parent and as well as its gravity should be centered horizontal or depending upon your position and the ID should be root view group 1 this will be the same ID we're going to be using out in our game activity Java file if you just get into the game activity Java file and as you can see that we are using root group view 1 to link this linear layout to this big thumbnail view XML file after that what you need to do is to get into the Android manifest XML file and in here you have to add a few of the permissions that is the permission of the internet and as well as the permission of the network state after that under the application tag you have to enter this metadata tag as you can see that never mind I will provide these all files and permissions in the about section or inside the description of the video after you have placed this code now you get into this one and just before closing the application tag you have to enter this code as you can see that activity in droid name com dot google aids activity and you have to provide the config changes that is keyboard and blah 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 after putting all of these options you are now able to successfully actually play your game and provide the ad mobs and link your ad mobs with your application so whenever you are actually using the ad mob application and the ad mob advertisement in your application you can get into the home section and you can check out that how much earnings you have got from your ad mob application advertisement and how much impressions you have got and the full detail will be provided in here in the home section of Edmore now in order to check our application I'm just gonna open my blue stake emulator that is actually an Android emulator and I have already installed my brick tumbler game I'm just gonna open my brick tumbler and now I'm just gonna play I'm just gonna press the play button and now as you can see that the ads will appear on the top section of these bricks but it will take some time to appear on the top section and just within few seconds your aid will actually appear in here on the or in here in the bottom section depending upon your position I have actually placed my ads just be just uh, in on the back of my bricks of the game so whenever I hit the brick the aid will appear and as you can see that these aids are actually appearing just below my bricks and I'm just gonna play the game and as you can see that the bricks has been appeared and as this aid is actually appearing on the back section of my app so in this way you could actually integrate the advertisement of Edmob in your application and this is the lock gate as you can see that it is actually giving me this problem 
uh, I'm just gonna could not find class in droid fragment activity and these will be giving such problems but it doesn't matter it won't affect any of your advertisement section these will be definitely definitely different warnings and uh, different uh, uh, errors it will be actually providing but it doesn't matter unless your application uh, advertisement is appearing successfully in your application so it these matters are really not actually going to work out for that purpose so in this way you could actually simply integrate your advertisement in your application